What's up, my neighbors? My neighbors. What's up? I put out a guarantee tonight for tonight's game. One ten and a half, staying under the total. I'm looking to make a ROI on my investment. Right? And I said, I'm going to go one and one. With a profit. Well, how do you go one and one with a profit? Well, let me explain to you carefully, right? First half under 110 and a half. If that doesn't go under, I'm going to double up, triple up on the second half going under, right? Because one of them are going to stay under. So I went heavy on the first half under. We're on a commercial break right now. So far, I mean, it doesn't look bad. It doesn't look great either, but it doesn't look bad. I've seen worse. Let's talk about the NHL last night. The Las Vegas Knights of Golden, Nevada, whatever the fuck. Great game. Great playoffs. 3-2, they lose. Save of the century. Save of the playoffs ever. Yeah, it was a good save. I mean, when you factor in the timing of the save and, and, and the climate of the game at that point, yeah, it was a great save. Put out the paddle. He stopped the rubber. I like to use the rubber to stop. That's a different story for a different day, though. If you know what I mean, and if you don't, then you're a fucking complete idiot. As we proceed here, I think this game is going, this series is going to go the distance. I'm talking about the NHL. It's going 6-7. You can bank on the Vegas Golden Knights and Nevada Las Vegas winning one game in Washington. You can, you can bank on that. I will. You do what you want. I really don't give a shit. 3-2-5. Three two final last night game staying under. I had the Capitals two and eight on the week, and uh, that's not a good thing. That's a very not good thing. Sorry, two and six. Fucking exaggerate two and eight. It's a two and six. What else is in the news before we get to this game? Colangelo is in the news. The GM president of the Philadelphia 76ers. This is a fucking joke, ain't it? But it's all a setup. It's LeBron's people hacking him, hacking his Twitter, because LeBron wants to be the general manager of this team, right? We all know that. He's a player. He's a coach. He's a general manager. What better way to become a general manager? Was that a fucking three? What, what better way to get be a general manager than to oust the existing general manager if I'm going to go to Philadelphia, right? Right. And that's what this is right now. Fuck, the Cavs are hitting these three-pointers like crazy, huh? So the other night, Colangelo says, someone's out to get me. Someone hacked my Twitter. Someone is out to get me. Okay. After that, it was his wife, apparently. Uh, so your wife is out to get you? That's what I put together here. Someone's out to get me, and then it was, oh, my wife. It was my wife that was doing it. The burner accounts. So your wife is out to get you. But what else is fucking new? Of course a w wife is out to get you. Hi, Taylor. Thank you for joining me. Not keeping me lonely. Comforting me. Keeping me some companies. Listen, LeBron's in on it. Colangelo should be fired. He will be. It's a matter of the contract. E yikes. I don't like that basket. It's a matter of the Sixers with the contracts and the legalities and stuff and such. Crossing their T's and dying their fucking eyes. That's about it. It's a matter of fucking time. If, if it doesn't go down by tomorrow, I'll be very, I'll be very surprised. LeBron's not missing a fucking shot. 
They want to win one game. 37 points so far in the first quarter with 5 minutes and 30 seconds left. Got a lot of action. Like I said, I guarantee... Play some fucking defense! If the first half doesn't go over, the second half will. Stand by on my Twitter. Because I said, the least I'm going is one and one, but I'm going to make a fucking profit. I'm going to make a profit. If not, uh, I'm willing to smash a pie in my face tomorrow. If the first half doesn't stay under, I take my money and I leave. If it loses, I'm a double up, triple up. The real Tonelli, what up, my boy? Long time. The Solonikis. The second half stays under. One or the other. They're going under. Well, that's what I'm banking on. If not, I'll smash a pie in my face. Pie is good stuff. Yes. I'll eat it. But I'm not doing a pecan pie or anything like that. It's going to scratch up this... Pretty face of mine. We don't want that happening. What else is in the news? Kaepernick. We're in a commercial break right now. And now it's not looking too fucking good for the under first half. One ten and a half. These guys came out to play tonight. Kaepernick is in the news yet again. The lawyer representing Kaepernick says he has something that's going to blow this case wide fucking open. Stay tuned, he says. Quote, it's going to get dramatic. It's going to take a dramatic turn. I believe it. It will. They have someone on the inside that's willing to talk. And this whole fucking collusion Kaepernick thing is going to explode. It will. It's a matter of fucking time. He was on CNN last night. The lawyer representing Kaepernick. It's going to be very interesting as we proceed. Yeah, Colangelo. Blame the wife, of course, dude. But at the same time, I believe it. The, someone's out to get me, he says, and then he says it's his wife. Well, fuck, yeah, that makes sense. He's got a fucking, he's got a good alibi right there. My wife is out to get me, basically is what he's fucking saying. And, you know, as a male, my wife is out to get me. Is consistent. Is it not? WNBA tips off at 10 o'clock. The Las Vegas Aces. I'm going to get me some merchandise from the Las Vegas Aces. I love the name. I understand what the Las Vegas or the Vegas Golden Knights. He he went with that name, the Golden Knights, because uh, Batman didn't allow him to use something of a gambling nature. A fucking idiot Batman is, but... Psst. That's a different story for a different day. He was not allowed to use anything like Vegas blackjacks or Vegas casinos or Vegas aces. Or Ve he wasn't allowed to use that. He it was forbidden. And he's an army guy. He has a history of in the army and so on and so forth. So he picked the Golden Knights and hey, it's a good name. It's a good theme to it. They can market it properly and it fuck. Their marketing job of this hockey team has been exceptional, to say the least. But the Las Vegas Aces tip off tonight at Seattle. And I like women. I like women a lot. This is why I watch women's tennis. Like I always said, a woman that knows how to eat, has an appetite, and can sweat, that's a woman for me. That's a piece of advice. You want to find yourself a good woman? I know, Tonelli. I know. I, I don't understand why. It's not Las Vegas. Could it be a marketing thing? I get the Golden Knights aspect of it. I mean, he's a, he's a military man, and he wanted to implement that in the name. I get that. I can respect that. It didn't grow on me at first, but you know what? Winning solves everything. If my name was Vladimir, 
and I went fucking 85 and 0, you'd probably like the name Vladimir. If my name was Olga from Bulgaria, and I brought winners to the table, you'd probably love the name Olga. I would probably name my daughter, my dog, my everything Olga from Bulgaria. The Knights of Las Vegas, Nevada. Now, that's a fucking good name. The Knights of Las Vegas, Nevada. Fuck yeah. That would be a, that, that would have been a really, that would be a better name. I think it was a marketing thing. I'm not sure what it was. But back to the WNBA and Titty Sweat. The Las Vegas Aces, they're called in the WNBA. They're 11 and a point, 11 and a half point underdogs. E buzzer beater. We're at 42 points already. Anyways, as we proceed here. The over under is 169. 169. <laughs> you get 69? You get it? Don't worry about it. Forget about it. Kevin Love misses a fucking three pointer. Yeah. Um, the over under that I projected in this first half is not looking too good at this point. We're at 44 with fucking four minutes left. And that's not a good thing. Kevin Love at the three-point line. But the WNBA is something that I'm intrigued about. Entertainment purposes only, of course. But you got to think, the Cavs are going to win one, right? I think they can even win two games. But then again, don't take it from me. I had Houston playing the 76ers for the finals, and well, fuck. You don't have to be a rocket scientist to know how that went. But listen, look. I'm on the first half under 110 and a half. Right now, yeah, it ain't looking fucking good at all. I promise going at least one and one with a profit. So if this goes over the total of the first half, I'm going to double up or triple up based on the fucking number going in the second half. And if that loses two, well, stay tuned and I'll smash a pie in my face as consolation. As fucking entertainment. Because you know what? We all hate to fucking lose money. Three-pointer. He missed it. Fuck you. We all hate to lose fucking money and lose our fucking bets, right? But, hey, you know what? At least we can ha have a laugh doing it, doing so. That's a fucking travel, dude. He missed it. We're stuck at 55. Let's stay that way. My name is Sonny. If you didn't know, now you know. Neighbor, as you proceed, check out for my Twitter at halftime. Play some fucking defense. Fuck. Stop the fucking broadcast. Fucking snap. I'm gonna fucking snap.